So welcome to Jubilee Park and Gardens. So camping, caravanning. Yeah, I thought I'd just give you a quick walk around just to see the facilities that you've got and what there is. So this is the uh, Stixwold Road here. So straight down that road there, that takes you to the centre of the village. And then as you come up Stixwold Road, you'll see the signs for Jubilee Park. And it takes you in, so that's where we were standing just there a moment ago. And uh, that's where you drive in there with your caravan or camping. Plenty of areas to park and set up. Then you go to the booking office. Yeah, and your allocated pitch. You got the croquet club there nice areas to sort of walk they've got a bit of a nature thing there with some bird boxes and so this is a uh, camping and caravan facility here in the village um, very nicely located uh, it's got all the amenities that you need. It's got um, obviously the camping areas, there's some shower blocks over there. Uh, yeah, so the camping I think is primarily, well it's sort of mixed in really. You've got um, the camping and the caravan all together. It's a little bit quiet at the minute, which is surprising because it's the start of the Easter holidays. I thought it'd be a little bit busier than this, however it's going to start to pick up later in the week. And you've got a few people over there, all starting to arrive. There's a few arrived this morning and then just over there you've got the swimming area swimming pool they've got a uh, nice little cafe there as well sort of teas coffees soft drinks snacks it's very nice not just for the uh, jubilee park residents the people who stay over but uh, anyone can come here so on a nice day you can sit with a drink and admire the scenery over there you've got the uh, Lawn bowls. Tennis courts. I'll just show you now how sort of near roughly things are. Um, so if you head down this way here towards the village you've got a road, Coronation Road, which is just off to the left here. And that takes you up to the Kinema, which is uh, the little cinema that we've got here. So this is Coronation Road, and this takes you up to the Kinema. They actually have intermissions halfway through the films. So no matter what film you're watching, be it uh, Star Wars or Jurassic Park, they will stop it halfway where you have intermissions to get up and go and get your ice cream. So it's the real old fashioned cinema experience. So I'll give you a rough idea of whereabouts it is from Jubilee Park. So that's where we've come in there. So if you go to the end of that road, uh, Jubilee Park is off to the right over there so you've only really just got to come out of jubilee park cross the road come straight up coronation road here and walk straight up this road to the kinema 
I mean, as you can see, I mean, it's ideal if you like woodland walks and I mean, it's got pathways that actually lead through the woods as well, which are nice. Um, I mean, this road does have cars on it. They uh, still allow cars up and down this road. Um, it's not too bad. It depends when, really. I mean, obviously, it's going to be busier during sort of half terms and summer holidays and things like that tourist season but it's not too bad you know you step to one side it's absolutely fine so there's one of the uh, pathways I was talking about and it uh, yeah, you can just go for a walk down there and it takes you on a sort of a loop around the woodland area as you can hear I mean it's so peaceful with all the birds and And you just keep going round. It's not too far. I mean, I'm guessing from the caravan, if you to leave your caravan or camping area and walk to the cinema, you're probably looking about 10, 15 minutes walk. So not too bad. And this is the uh, car park for the Kinema. But as I say, if you're coming from Jubilee Park, if you're sort of camping or caravanning there, it's probably just as easy just to have a nice stroll through the woodland area and come here that way. And that is the Kinema. Now I won't film inside today because, as I said, it's actually Easter half term at the minute and um, it does get quite busy and I believe it opens at 10 today. I think the first film was at 10. Um, but I have actually got some photos that I've taken earlier. What I'll do, I'll put them up now and maybe just a little video of the foyer that I've done previously just so you can get an idea of what it's actually like. So if I put them up now... And as you can see, it's uh, very traditional. Yeah, so if you're coming to Woodall Spa either for the day or you're stopping here for a little break, then pay it a visit. It's definitely a brilliant experience. And this building here was the the old spa building um, and it's going through a renovation project at the minute you see the front area here that's a hair and beauty salon and then i've also got a gym as well and then once you've seen your film or you've been to the cinema you can carry on walking around here this will take you to the village the beginning of the village but while you're wandering past here, you could always call into the tea house here for a nice pot of tea and a slice of cake or something to eat. Do a very nice menu here and very nice Sunday lunches as well. Can highly recommend this place. And that is the uh, tea house in the woods. Now they're closed Mondays and Tuesdays. I'll just uh, show you the opening times the numbers just in case you're interested and if you carry on up this road here this will take you to the beginning of the village
So anyone interested in your golf, this road here will take you straight down to the Little Spa National Golf Centre. So that's the road we've just come out of, just there. And then we turn down here and this is the uh, beginning of the village. Yeah, I've got a couple of videos of the village and I'll put a link for those in the description down below. So there you have it. That was a look around Jubilee Park, adjacent to the village of Woodall Spa. Yeah. See you next time.